Hey, Pamela Hack here from Strata Toscana, and this is Strata TV, where you come for a glimpse at La Bellezza, the beauty of Italian culture. And today we're all about bread, pane, and if you use just a little bit of your imagination, you'll probably smell it baking right through this video. Naturally, pane has been an integral part of Italian culture for thousands of years. I mean, bread baking ovens have been found in the ancient city of Pompeii, and those bread baking ovens resemble those that have been used just a hundred years ago. And yes, today's modern bread baking ovens are quite different, but you know what has stayed the same is how bread reflects the different regions of Italy, even different towns have different types of bread. In fact, I've read that there are more than 250 different types of bread baked in Italy and thousands of variations on those, and I believe it. In fact, a visit into a local forno, a local bread bakery, can be a dizzying experience. From Pizza Bianca that originated in Rome to the soft focaccia from Liguria with olive oil and salt on top, love it, one of my favorites, to the unsalted bread found here in Tuscany. Unsalted, by the way, because of a tax that was imposed hundreds of years ago on salt. And those clever Tuscan bakers said, well, to heck with it then. We won't even use salt when we're baking bread. And the tradition continues to today. Lucky for us, because that unsalted Tuscan bread pairs perfectly with salted cured meats and salty cheeses. But you know, it's not customary in Italy when that bread basket arrives on the table to take it and douse it or dip it in olive oil. Nah, not so much. You might order sliced bread that's toasted, drizzled with olive oil, bruschetta, or you might use that piece of bread to sop up the last of your great pasta sauce called la scarpetta, the little shoe. But dipping and dousing? Eh, not so much, not customary here. But you know, here's what I suggest. The next time you're visiting Italy, if you really want a local cultural experience, make your way to the local bakery, the local forno, and go in and just ask which bread is from here? What is the traditional bread from this town? Or you know what, better yet, just close your eyes and point. I mean, you can't go wrong. Pane, it's just another slice, literally, of la bellezza of Italian culture. I'm Pamela Hack, and if you liked this, share it, comment. Better yet, head on over to stratatoscana.com and sign up. You'll get updates and insider info. In the meantime, here's hoping that your travels are infused with la bellezza. And I'll see you next time on Strata TV.